Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to share my Mackenzie Child collection that I have. This is a collection that I've been um, collecting since 2020. So everything that I'm going to show you is what, I, um, what I've gotten throughout the last four years. So my love for Mackenzie Childs started in 2020. Um, if you're not familiar with Olivia's Romantic Home, um, check her out. She's on YouTube. And I started watching her and I just saw how she uh, DIY a lot of the Mackenzie Childs stuff. I started also doing some DIYs and I'm going to show you some of those pieces as well. Uh, I still use them throughout my decor still because I I just you know love how they they came out so one of them is like right here this is uh, a DIY that I did I used to have three of them I broke one and I'm not sure where the other one is at but this is a DIY and all this stuff I found it at the thrift store uh to diy and so like these were just regular candlesticks and i just painted them and i just use regular ac acrylic paint uh and you know just design it i mean i still use these a lot and you know it's not perfect but you can't really tell from far away but also i'll show you the mackenzie child uh, um the authentic Mackenzie child paint as well it's not perfect either and so this is you know this is one of them so I DIY that I had like I said I had three of those I still use them all around my decor the other piece that I made that I painted was this uh ceramic pair I painted this and see it's not perfect you just you know I just painted and you know it was so fun just painting anything i was literally painting a lot of stuff in this uh pattern and i'll show you some pictures as well because i don't have a lot of it a lot of the stuff i don't have it with me um it's uh either put away or i give it to my sister so but i'll still show you pictures this is another one that I painted as well and I used this for a lot of my florals. I'll show you a few pictures as well of how I decorated this one uh, for a few of the holidays but this is another one. Um, that's all I have with me. Uh, that's all the DIYs that I have that I had uh, that I could find around the house right now some of them are put away in the storage uh but i do want to show you uh more of them so i'll show you pictures um and then by all means i'm not trying to show off or anything like that i just want to share my collection with you all because i really love this pattern and prior to to watching Olivia's Romantic Home prior to uh, knowing about Mackenzie Childs. Prior to knowing about Mackenzie Childs, prior to watching Olivia's Romantic Home, I've always liked uh, the black and white print. No matter what print it was, I've always loved the, the way that it looks, the way that just stands out a lot with any color that you add, especially bright colors and so when of course i had to fall in love with black and white you know mackenzie Childs is known for their courtly check pattern they have other patterns that are as beautiful um as well but my uh my love is for the black and white um pattern so i really really love uh what i've collected so far but like i said by all means i am not trying to show off I just want to share my love for the collection and what I have. And um, if you've been watching my um, my decorate with me videos in the kitchen, then you've seen most of this stuff already. 
um, I didn't put everything down so I'll show you footage of all the the rest that I did not um, that I'm not going to show you but I'll show footage of how it's decorated right now um, but this is how I've been getting the the items because I know they're expensive but Mackenzie Childs has sales all year round when you become a member and so um, they have, of course, their annual barn sale in July, and they have quite a bit of stuff at 50% off. Throughout the year, they have other sales, like they had, they had a Christmas, after Christmas sale for, um, 50% off as well on a lot of the Christmas stuff. So every holiday, um, afterwards they have a sale, um, clearance items and so there's a lot of ways that you don't that you can get the stuff and sell and you don't have to pay full price for it a lot of this stuff um, has been gifts from my husband and normally instead of asking for anything else I just ask for Mackenzie Giles and so of course we have Valentine's um, I normally get to order a few pieces there um then there's our anniversary uh that i also get to order some pieces and then my birthday and christmas are really close my birthday is december 23rd and then of course christmas after that so i get to do a big order for uh, those two holidays at the same time so um that's how i've been getting them and like i said normally there is a sale going on and I can get these items either at 50% off. Um, I think some of them have been 20% off. And so there's ways to get discount um, discounts on some of these items. And if you just go on their website, like I said, they're always having some sort of sale. And I started collecting with just a few pieces. It wasn't like I said, this has been a four-year collection, and it hasn't been everything like in one shot. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's been, like I said, um, a few years of collecting, not four years of collecting. And uh, like I said, it's during holidays, my birthday, uh, Valentine's Day, my, our anniversary, uh, but always on sale. I don't think I've paid full price for any of them um, that I remember. Okay, so with that being said, I want to start off with my first items that I got, uh, which is the teapot. And this is my most used item in the collection. So if, you see, if it's dirty, it's because it's used a lot. So I, okay, so I use this one every day to make my tea and it's I just love it the you know the, almost of the stuff a lot of the stuff comes with the red uh, the handle or knob whatever you call this and it just makes it look that much uh, prettier prettier um, so this is my yo my, this is what I use every day to make my tea so with this one with the teapot I got the same time this was this was actually my birthday, birthday pr uh, Christmas present. With the teapot, I got the mugs. And um, this was, like I said, a birthday present for um, that year. For the first year, I did not use the teapot. It was just uh, sitting in one of the shelves uh, as decoration because it looked really beautiful. Uh, but then I just started using it um, to make my tea. Okay, so those were the, my first two items that I got. And then after that, I just started, you know, collecting um, things as I, as a sale would come. And depending on the budget for that uh, time that my husband would give me, then I would order um, stuff. So I could just start off with the, um, the pillow. This is such a beautiful, beautiful pillow. It's not that big, um, but I put this in our master bedroom. This is where this is at most of the time. Um, so this is the front and then the back is 
also a beautiful design so you can basically use it both ways but of course this is my favorite side um this one you can actually uh take yeah it has a zipper so you can take it off and then wash it um but i have not done that because I, it's just for decorations and it's just sitting there in the room looking beautiful um so this is the pillow then i got the apron with this one has a green uh border such a beautiful green i keep it as well year round um you've seen it uh out there in my kitchen as well and it's really beautiful i think i've used it once maybe i used it once i don't remember um but i love the green trim on it it's just really pretty so this one's also out there just for decoration most of the stuff you've seen like i said and of course the oven mitten really pretty and i just hang it on one of the little hooks on my one of my hobby lobby shelves it's really really pretty as well okay this is one of my favorite ones as well i a lot of the stuff i do use so it's not just for decoration i do use it um i for the holidays i made a lot of hot chocolate here uh, champurado if you know what that if you know what that is leave me a, a thumbs up emoji if you know what champurado is so the top like a flower flower print but if you notice the the paint like i said it's not perfect but that that's what makes it unique because these are all hand painted from my understanding on the description these are all hand painted and the and it's such a beautiful pot i believe this is the seven quart stock stock pot um and it's just such a beautiful like i said such a beautiful pot it's so big and uh, just just love it and this is the other casserole that i have um this is a little bit smaller but you can still i mean you can still make some uh pretty good decent sized meals in this one um this is this is what the handle looks like really pretty i've also used this one too like i said most of this stuff is used then we have the this is the two and a half quart saucepan this one has a little birdie in the um top it's really really pretty and this is what it looks like this is a, how big it is so it's a decent size as well i like the i love that they all have different um whatever these are called but they have different designs on the top then i have the one quart saucepan this one's really pretty this is so tiny really really small and here's how the handle looks the flower but it, this one's really tiny then i have the waste basket uh this one and this is how big it is um it's a decent size i keep this in our bedroom but it's really pretty these are the 20 ounce tumblers i have three of them as well so I use them for decoration as well like i have one one of them um in the kitchen right now with just the some flowers and some greenery in there so multiple uses um of course salt and pepper shakers these as well are used all the time because i do have um salt in there so these these are the most used ones as well okay then i have the canisters um i believe 
I have all of them. So this is the large. Yeah, this is the large. Then this is the medium. Then this is the small. And then I have the demi, I think it's called. Yeah, demi, which is the smallest one. I do use these as well. There is stuff in there. So let me see if I can get them all in one. So you can see all of them. Maybe not. I don't want to drop them. But anyways, you get the... There's the three of them. So as you can see, like this one is a little bit lighter. And the black, it's way lighter than this one. So they're all different, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, these, I do use them. Like I said, there's stuff in there. This one is called the Curiosity, Curiosity Pot. And... It says it's for trinkets. Um, yeah, it just describes it as uh, for housing treasure trinkets. Um, but I keep it in the kitchen, of course. There's nothing in there, but it's really pretty. Like just the, the pedestal that it's on. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It's almost like, yeah, it's actually this. In a pedestal I just realized that yeah it's just in a pedestal it's so cute and then um, then the, this one this one is called the squash pot it's really cute I just have candy in there but it's really pretty and it's tiny then I have the cream and sugar containers. These are really, really cute as well. I love the red knob that it has on the top. And this one is just too adorable. It's just super, super tiny. Cute. Of course, the spoon rest. This one, I, once again, is used a lot. It's in the kitchen all the time. And then this is the utensil holder. You've seen this also in my kitchen. This is there. It has all my utensils in there. And then we have, this is the pedestal. Yeah, pedestal platter. This is a mini. It's really cute. I want to get the other size. Next. But we'll see. And I just have this uh, flower pot. This is considered the large in this shape. Because I have another one in a different shape. Actually, no, I have two of these. Yeah, I have two of these. And all I do is just stick greenery in there. And it just looks really pretty. Just like that. And I just put them everywhere. I'll show you the bigger one that I have. Um, I'll have to record that because that one's right here and that one's huge. Herb. Herb pots. Uh, it came in a set of three, but this is the only one I could find. I honestly don't know where the rest of them are. Uh, but these are really tiny. Uh, but once again, just for decorations. Um, I don't, I'm not really planning anything in there. Um, and then I have this pinch bowl, little tiny one. I, I thought I had one more of these, but I could not find them. So maybe it's just one, but I got that. And then I have two of the everyday bowls. This is what they're called, everyday bowls. So I got two of those. Like I said, the only reason why you see either two or three 
two is because it's just my husband and I and if it's three it's because I can only do three settings in my small uh, table in the in the kitchen um, but that's why you see either two or three next is this let me take out the flowers uh, is this beautiful picture uh, this is the I just says picture so this is a bigger one the big bulky one and I normally have this in the kitchen which just whatever flowers for the holiday the color for the holiday so for example the um, for summer it'll have yellow flowers uh, but right now it has pink because of Valentine's and of um, Easter um, but this one's so big and I love it. Okay, then I have this other flower. This one is called, this says large base. Um, but this one's shorter than the other one. Still a little bit bulky, but it's shorter. And like I said, I just have flowers in there. And it just looks really pretty. Just like that. Okay, then I have this other base. Uh, this one came with the green bow already, which I've left there for all the holidays. I'm not gonna remove it because it's such a pretty bow and the color is just really pretty. Um, but this one's a little bit taller. Okay, so the first set of plates that I have, and there's actually four. The set came in uh, four in the set had four in them, and I believe these are the dessert. Yeah, these are the dessert plates, and they're just so tiny, super cute. Love these. Love, love, love. They're just super cute. Then, um, these are the salad plates. Yeah, salad dessert plates slash dessert plates so as you can see I have three of them then um, these are the dinner plates uh, I also have three of these and I do try to use them as much as I can the only thing is that you can't put this in the microwave so it's kind of hard um, and you can't do that but Okay, they're still pretty. So let me just show you the, the salad plates and then these are the dinner plates, the different size. And once again, the difference in the paint as well. These are darker, these are lighter. Okay, then these are the charger plates. I also only got three of them because I wanted to do a table setting um, with these, but I ended up not doing it. So, I mean, I can still do it for any holiday because this, th this uh, is gonna be um, year round in the house. I mean, you've seen how I incorporate all, all of my Mackenzie Child um, collection into all the holidays. And I just want to continue doing that because I just love how they look. And of course, this is the serving platter. This is huge, as you can see. Um, I have this on top of my kitchen hutch, just um, uh, there as decorations. I actually ordered this for our wedding anniversary last year, and we use it for fruit and it's it's just beautiful all right and uh here's the coasters i think they have different coaster types but these are the ones that i order um this is the back and i it's a, a set of four i could only find one and that's because i have it here by my um, computer desk uh, but this is really pretty really really nice Okay, here's the other, um, it's called garden pot. This is a medium size, uh, but it's different than the other ones. 
Um, I really like this one because it's like super. It's not big, big, but it's not small. I do have another size. I think I have the smaller size as well. Um, but I, I think it's up somewhere. I just don't remember where it's at. But either way, this one is really cute. It's, a, it's called the triple wall hook. Yeah. Um, I haven't set it up yet because I want to put this in the closet. Um, but there's a few things that we still have to organize and do in the closet before I can put this on. So this has been just sitting there waiting to be set up. But I can't wait. I was thinking of um, hanging my maybe my purses. Um, and other bags. I think that's going to look cute. Okay, so um, now let me go show you a few clips of where the rest of the stuff is at. Here is a two-tiered tray. This one looks really pretty. You can see the gold rim the gold this is gold the pedestal but it looks really pretty here's the other small pot garden pot if you can let me move this i just put a green planter in there so that's that one and of course the salt and pepper shaker piggies there's one and here's the other I have a few of these like fixtures as well um, I have one in the kitchen one in the master room and then this one and they're so pretty so beautiful i love they're so shiny as well really really pretty here's where the big garden pot is at this one has my olive tree right here uh, but this is the extra large pot and i believe this is like 17 inches um tall it's really really pretty and it's really really big so i'm just going to continue to use it just to put my other big trees and then i just added those for easter the carrots and the eggs but this one is huge like i said 17 inches is really really big and this is a diy book that i made i literally just grabbed a book that was the hardcover was white and I just painted the pattern in there and I use it as decor everywhere so this is where it's at right now it's really pretty I added the gold to to the end right here as well so I use this a lot too in a lot of my decor to just to lift up things but like I said if you do want to do some DIYs and you like to paint, these are super fun to do. Like I said, it's, I had a blast painting all these and I still use them throughout my decor. You'll see throughout my decorating videos that I use a lot of uh, my DIYs incorporated with my actual authentic um, Mackenzie Childs. Uh, but I did go, like I said, I did go crazy in the beginning with, um, I did go crazy in the beginning with painting, uh, this pattern and anything you can think of. Um, 
and it's super fun and it's it's really fun to do that you can also get the their napkins and mod podge them to uh like for example like um like if you get glass uh plates the clear glass plates or um containers you can mod podge the napkin the mackenzie chow napkin and it looks really pretty i have a few of those as well that i did thank you so much for watching and i hope that you've enjoyed watching uh, and seeing my uh, mackenzie chow collection uh and don't forget to subscribe to my channel share the video and also like and let me know what was your favorite piece uh, of the collection uh, and um, let me know if you're going to take advantage of the barn sale coming up in July. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye.